Following the release of the DC of Elembele on the evening of Wednesday, 7 September, the police in the early hours of Thursday, September 8, sent the four other persons who were arrested and denied bail for their original charge of obstruction to the Takrade Harbour Circuit Court for prosecution. The four, including Francis Apena, who is the Elembele MPP Constituency Secretary, Robert Amo, the polling station chairman for Esiama, SDA, Roland Ntiakun, the DCE's driver, and Jeff Edua, a polling station organizer for Esiama Anglican, arrived at the court at 8 a.m. Surprisingly, before the case could be called after an hour of waiting, the police rather ushered them out of the court and transported them back to the regional police command in 2nd D. Some of the disappointed Elembele MPP supporters who were frustrated over the bizarre event spoke to City News about their frustrations over their continuous detention. You've been here the whole day. The, the most disappointing thing is the Chinese who were doing galam, so on our land, were arrested and they were not in handcuffed. He felt at home as if they were being protected. But those who took pictures of the excavators being stolen are the ones who were handcuffed. That's very disappointing as a Ghanaian. We all saw the Chinese, how they were, they, they, they were in an air conditioned car, they fed at home, they were not handcuffed. Our people, even when they were about to go and relate, they were in handcuffs. And it, it, doesn't, it doesn't get, I don't get it. So I'm, I'm truly disappointed as a Ghanaian. Why our people should be, our own people should be treated as if they are foreigners in their own land? This is a very disappointing issue. And as a Ghanaian, I partly feel for. I'm disappointed that they were not granted bail yesterday. And I, I, I still don't get the, the type of crime they co committed that they cannot be built. As of now, I think now, the, the, the only encouraging thing is you've heard they've been built and finally you take them home. But it's been too long and we've waited for this bill for a very long time. We have been asked to wait for the regional executive to come. They didn't show up yesterday. So why today? So as a council officer, officer, my people are here, we are here in our numbers, waiting to hear what the court says. But unfortunately, the court process didn't come on. So we are not happy. We are not happy. Very disappointing because yesterday when we came, we were told he was at the office. He went to Accra. He will be coming this morning. What happened yesterday? We are not believing in any of our party officers in any of our, our ministers, in any of our party leaders. All that we want is we want the truth to prevail. We want to find who owns the excavator, who is behind the excavator, who brought the excavator to Takrade, and why Bozoke was arrested. That's what we are looking for. Give him the bail, waiting for the regional minister. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's uncalled for. It's needless. We don't need that. We want to know why he was arrested. So, as a conscience officer, we are not happy. After waiting till 3 p.m., lawyer for the four detained persons, Salome Erika Abeka, disclosed that they had been released. Due to the information we had, we all went to the Takrade Circuit Court at Harbour. We were there, and then the accused persons had to be waked out. We followed and we were told that they had been told to bring them back to, or there is an order to bring them back to the regional police. And so we had to all come here. That's what happened. We don't know why they were brought back from the court. So the case, in fact, was not even called. All I know is that the police said they will give them bail, grant them bail today. And so there was no, we just had to come back. What we wanted today was for the four accused persons to be granted bail. And so since that assurance was given, we knew they would be given the bail. And so we had to come back and ensure that bail was granted. So now we are, since they are all on bail, which is important, we are now waiting for the police to finish their investigations and decide whether they want to go ahead and prosecute the matter or withdraw the various charges. The Alhambra DC, Kwezi Bonzo, who is at the center of the missing excavator saga while defending his innocence against accusations leveled against him, commended the police for the recovery of one of the excavators but demanded the police find the owners of the excavators. I want to thank the original police command for the, the decisive action in arresting the excavators, the one missing excavator and also the Chinese, the five Chinese that 
has been reported. I mean, this is what we have been yearning for since the outbreak of this, all these events. Meanwhile, there's one more excavator to be found. We have confidence that the same process through which they found the one excavator, they will use the same process to find the second excavator. And then also, the owners of the excavators must be found and brought to book. Because if you look at the level of degradation that these two excavators have done on the land in our district, there's no way these owners of the excavators can go for free. So we are urging the police, we want to assure them that we have confidence in them, especially the regional operations team, to go ahead and then find the other one missing excavator and also bring the perpetrators of this heinous crime to book. So far, there is no indication as to when any of them would be charged at all.